so many people thought after the election, well, he's a lame duck, the right. president, that he'll be essentially irrelevant the last two years. So I want to remind viewers right after that State of the Union address, remember, he said raise the minimum wage. Republicans aren't going to do that. He said, as Tamara just noted, let's raise taxes on the wealthy. Republicans are very skeptical about doing that. The president hit the road, on the one hand, still standing by his proposals, and yet trying to strike a balance, on the other hand, saying, why can't we get along? I've got two years less left in office. I am not going to stop trying, make, trying to make our politics work better. That's what you deserve. That's how we move the country forward. So that, that's sort of the kinder, gentler, let's be bipartisan president striking that tone with the American people, while at the same time, at the moment, at the moment, and this is what I'm trying to get at, he's trying to get leverage. At the moment, his proposals are, you know, go away, Republicans. I'm right, you're wrong, even though you just won the election. What is the president? Already we have seen, he stood with the Democrats in that speech when they were worried about him. We have seen some Democrats peel away on their rush to pass an Iran sanctions bill that the president doesn't want. The Democrats are saying, well, maybe we should give the president a bit of a chance. Uh, Politico reporting this morning that there's a debate in Camp Clinton about whether she should wait till July to get into the race <laughs> or get in in the next month or two. Uh, how would that factor into the president's calculation? Look, any time he does anything, people are going to say, what does Hillary think? But is it easier for the president? Does it buy him more time if she stays out not being an official candidate longer? Well, I, I think that it, it makes him a slightly less lame duck for a few more months because he, he can continue to set the agenda and set the tone. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's saying, yeah, yeah, you guys think I am a lame duck, but I'm going to keep laying an agenda here. And then the Republicans are going to have to answer, well, what do you think of that? What do you think of that? What do you think of that? Because he's just continuing to throw ideas out there, refusing to sit back and, and be lame. And in the meantime, what you've seen is his approval ratings are ticking right. up. I mean, they want, I'm sure, if you're in the Clinton camp, you want to see those approval ratings at 50 percent. Again, we've got people like John Podesta who are, are behind the scenes, will uh, work for Hillary Clinton at some point, uh, has been orchestrating what the president's approach to politics and policy has been for really the last year. Uh, so I think Hillary Clinton, she stays out into July. The president keeps doing this, keeps putting Republicans in a box. I mean, the Republicans have had a rough go of it. I mean, right. think about what happened uh, with this abortion debate in the House. Uh, think about how they came in with the Scalise debate was not helpful to them. So I think people are surprised that the Republicans, you had somebody like McConnell saying, we're going to turn the page, uh, and it's really Obama who's been able to reset his presidency over these last six well, weeks. You made the point, and it's, it's a great point about his approval rates. If he can keep those numbers up, uh, you cut budget deals not in January or February. If they go by the, what they want to do, the old order, we'll be cutting those deals in August and September. And so the issue is who has the political leverage then? And that's essentially what all this is about now for the president, right? Trying to keep his numbers up to build strength for negotiations? Yeah, to build strength for negotiations. And he also knows that the magic number for Republicans is 67. He's got the power of the veto, and right. they've got to get 67 uh, votes to override that. Uh, so he's in oddly a, a strong position. I think they're playing it very smart. We've just got to see what Republicans do.